Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So I just thought I'd collect my daily login reward there for the 27th day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. It took me a little while to make, but uh, I really actually enjoyed making that one. So if you, are, if you are enjoying these videos, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Um, I've just been a little bit busy these last few days, so that's why it's taken me a little while to get a video out. Doesn't mean the grinding hasn't stopped. So if you come in here, you can have a seat, look at my champions here. We've actually got a few things going on, and which is that's the main focus of today's video, is talking about kind of my dungeon team and where I'm kind of heading to from there. Obviously my clan boss team is changing up a little bit too because my dungeon team is becoming a little bit stronger. I just thought I'd kind of bring you guys in and we could talk a little bit about that. So um, first things first, Kale, obviously first um, 60 on the account, always has been. Um, he's been the main focus there. Got him in that lifesteal gear and the perception gear. Rhonda, she was my second champion there where I took up to level uh, 60. So she's sitting there, 80% crit rate. It's a bit hit and miss at the moment, but um, I'm hoping to kind of fix a little bit of that today. As you notice there, I collected the 100 gems on my login rewards. I've just ticked over, actually I'll come back for that. I've just ticked over 800 gems, which means that I'm gonna go in here and buy her masteries. I'm gonna buy out the rest of her masteries. I think it's important to buy the second champion's masteries and then from then on, you can then um, supplement that with um, the gem mine and as well start farming up Minotaur. So um, that's gonna be my next move is to get her decked out with masteries, get her to come down here, pick up Giant Slayer. So I'll kind of come in there now and I'll fix out what I'm trying to, I think I want, uh, I probably want that one there. I probably will also take uh, this one here and uh, yes, that one there. Um, I don't want Helm Smasher. I do want this one here and then Giant Slayer. I'll kind of come down here. I'll pick up Chance to Remove whenever they lose. No. Um, heals each time an enemy is healed. No, I'll probably pick up this one here. Um, I really do want um, Retribution here. A chance to counterattack, which would be really nice there for my... Um, reduce the damage if uh, by an enemy each time the yeah, damage reduction. That could be useful. Um, she doesn't place any debuffs, so let's go that one. Retribution, um, and then we can kind of come over here, maybe pick up, I might be like the Life Drinker, that might be a good one. Um, yeah, let's go Life Drinker. Yeah, let's go Life Drinker. And um, maybe Cycle of Violence. Yeah. Let's do, I'm just trying to think. So she doesn't place a fear. Um, for each buff placed by them on this champion. She doesn't place any buffs. So I'm assuming that we probably should go, it's either gonna be out of Cycle of Violence here or Wrath of the Slain. Uh, let's do, let's do Cycle of Violence. Okay, so, sorry, that took a little while. Um, but, oh yes, Plarium just keeps throwing offers at me. I'm just gonna pull this Ancient Shard here as well. Similar to Hell Hades, I'm in a yellow kind of mood. I'm just gonna keep throwing out shards and just pull whatever I get. Who is this Ironclad? I've already pulled one of him, actually. I'm fairly sure I've already pulled another one of him, too. Um, yeah, look at that, I've got another one. So we've got two of them here now, which is quite funny. They're both just sitting here. This is kind of my, this vault at the moment is kind of just like my, I will keep and maybe have a little look at the champions a little bit later. Diabolus is probably one that I want to be looking to level up soon, but I also probably want to get my High Katoon leveled up a little bit further. I've got a Zephyr Sniper in here too. You're probably wondering what this champion is. She's an uncommon barbarian. She's a defense-based champion there with a, um, attacks all enemies on her A1. She's really nice if you chuck her in some lifesteal gear there in Spider's Den because she hits everyone as soon as she's attacked. So um, you kind of want to maybe build her out with some um, lifesteal gear or retaliation gear or something like that. So she's just going to kind of sit in that revolt, that vault there. But uh, let's talk about my dungeon team. So you see here I've got some new faces. I've got Taurus here, he's level 47, and Castigator as well, he's level 47. So I've just kind of been leveling these guys up in tandem. Um, you may be wondering what these guys do. Let's give you a bit of a rundown. So Taurus here, um, I've been so unlucky with the books on this guy. His A1's copped all the books as well. His A2, which is the 75% chance of weaken, books up to 100%. So I've got a weaken there now on my, um, my clan boss team, which is really nice. This is the main ability for him, which is he receives damage equal to 99% of his HP. So he almost kills himself, but then he replaces an unkillable buff on himself for two, two turns and has an 80% chance of placing four poisons. So really what I was doing with my monks before is I have them placing two poisons each. Um, Castigator got really, oh sorry, Castigator. Taurus does that in himself. He does four poisons. So he does four poisons 
instead of two people doing two poisons. So um, that's really quite nice there if I bring him into my squad there. Castigator's a nice healer. He equalizes the HP of all, all of my champions and all my allies, and also grants himself an extra turn. So what I figured out is that this guy has his poisons on a five turn cooldown, it books down to four turn. And then this guy has his heal on a six turn cooldown, but it grants the extra turn. So it's really on a five turn cooldown. So what I've got is I've got Taurus sitting at uh, 139 speed and I've got my Castigator sitting at 125. So what happens is Taurus lowers his HP down. He then throws out all of his poisons and then Castigator comes in and heals him back up so that he's sitting at a good, like about 60%, 70% HP. So really these two champions kind of work really nicely together. Ideally, I'd like Castigator to be someone like, I mean, obviously I'd love someone like an Iron, um, a walking tomb drain here where he's got a uh, equalizes the hp of all allies but it's they bring it up to the highest hp whereas castigator just kind of levels out everyone's hp i kind of didn't realize that um so that he if everyone if there's one champion on on one percent and everyone's on 99 he'll bring everyone up to like say for, for example 70 percent hp so it's not everyone goes up to 99 it kind of brings everyone back into in the balance so it's, it's a nice heal but there's other champions out there that do a better. Sinesha, um, she's another Knight's Revenant champion. Sinesha, she's another champion who does this sort, sort of equalizes HP, but she brings them up to the highest level uh, of HP. So I thought Castigator was quite similar. Um, he is similar, but it's just his heal is a little bit weaker. So um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So that's my new little team there. I'll show you guys what it looks like in action. I'll chuck it into um, a, a dragon's lair here. I could probably start pushing up a little bit further. It's really good to get into um, stage 13 here where you start to get four to six star pieces. I'm still being kind of stuck on this um, stage 12. So I'll show you what my squad looks like. We'll go Kale there. Um, we'll go Demar Demarsha as well, because she's got her revive. Um, really, really helpful when um, Taurus almost kills himself trying to do this. So I'll run a little dungeon here for you guys. So um, we'll chuck it on two times speed. Um, so Kale comes in here, he smacks. He also um, gets Dimash's passive there, which is quite nice. It decreases the cooldown. As you can see, he comes in here with this, this, um, and you saw that just there. So um, Taurus throws out all the poisons, almost kills himself. Castigator comes in and, and tops everyone back up. Well, really lowers the HP of everyone else, um, but tops Taurus back up so that he's not gonna die. Obviously, he places an unkillable buff on himself, but that's a really nice way of kind of getting there. So, um, the weekend goes out there. Kale's going to keep throwing out his poisons. I'd really love for Taurus to come in here and place some of his poisons as well. Um, at the moment, I don't have Taurus booked out further so that he's got his cooldown quicker. Um, it actually works out quite nicely because I don't have enough rare books at the moment to get Castigator um, his cooldown on his heal ability. So, this is kind of what it looks like. Poisons go out. Hopefully this times out well where Castigator comes in and heals him. You see that, the heal goes out. He's healed himself back up. He lowers obviously the HP of everyone else, um, but for Kale it's not too bad. He's got lifesteal gear. I probably will get lifesteal gear for Rhonda as well now that she's got War, um, Giant Slayer. And you can kind of see there that we just come in there, clear out the dragon. It's a nice one minute 13 clear. Um, and you can see there, uh, I'm gonna sell that, it's not got the great stats. Um, and you can see there, it's quite a fast team there. Um, Cat Taurus not dealing too much, Kale obviously dealing the majority of the damage, he's the level 60 there, um, and Rhonda there coming in and doing some damage now that I've got her masteries in there too. So that's kind of what we're looking at at the moment. Um, take that free little quest there. Let's, um, let's show you what it looks like in clan boss as well. At the moment I've just been hitting up hard, I've been kind of getting that 3.3. It really just depends. There's a lot of luck in this for me at the moment where I either sit between say 3.5 or I go up to all the way up to 4.5. And that's really quite a big difference because it's, that's the difference between me three keying um, the guardian chest on hard or four keying it if I'm unlucky. So um, let's just see what we kind of look like in here. The run takes about three minutes or so, so we'll kind of just run through that very quickly and I'll show you what that looks like. So the poisons go out there by um, Kale. You'll see Taurus will throw out his poisons. One, two, three. Uh, you only got two out. And you see the equalizer's HP there by Castigator. So everyone's kind of, um, Taurus is nicely topped up. There, the weaken comes out. Um, and I'll just show you what we look like at the end here, guys. But you kind of get the, the deal of how that kind of works. So, um, because Castigator's a little bit slower than Taurus, Taurus always goes first. 
that means the, to the Taurus will lose his HP, but Castigator will come in and top him back up. So um, I'll show you what we look like at the end of this run, guys. We're looking good so far, about 1.2 million damage up by turn four, um, or turn five, sorry. Um, this will make a big difference now that I've got my um, Rhonda in um, her masteries booked out. Now the only issue is there, you see Taurus cop the stun. So Taurus taking the stun there is quite a, an annoying thing because you just saw then um, he's now used his poison ability. Castigator's just used his heal ability before Taurus was able to. But you see there, I've got Demarsha in there as well. So she comes in there with the heals and also she's got the revive too. So I haven't, this team's not exactly perfect just yet. You can see that obviously by um, Taurus and Taurus goes down there. Um, so they, it's not perfect, but it is kind of funky and I, and I like the way that it's kind of working out. So um, there's still some areas for improvement there, but uh, it's definitely kind of, it's been fun trying to kind of balance this team out and work with the champions that you're kind of given. So obviously for me, I pulled these champions um, and I've just been working with them as best as I can. So you can see there, as you can look like, we've kind of, kind of reach, um, Kale takes the stun there, which is a bit frustrating, but uh, I'm working with the champions that I've been given. Kale actually goes down there first, which is quite surprising. So 4.26 million damage. Um, that, that would be enough there to get. So 4.2, I really just need like four, four million per key. Um, and I'm at, you know, 7.7. .7, so really I need another um, four million there to get another one. I'll just, I'll just maybe run another one and we'll, I'll show you the damage at the end of that. So you can kind of see here, he's running a little bit low on HP, Taurus obviously. Um, so again, it's not quite speed tuned perfectly. And he's probably gonna go down here. So Mr. Marsha stays up, yep, she gets the revive off. Um, and then, yeah, you see Rhonda's just doing absolute work right now with her masteries. Extra 50K per hit is really awesome. And she's got that, obviously, that built-in ability there to join in and attack whenever um, an ally does. It's like a 15% chance. Um, you see the counter-attack actually just went off just then, but um, it wasn't enough for her to, she was already stunned. So um, you can see here we're easily coming in 4.5 million damage key, um, which is really great. That means I'm now consistently three keying um, hard, which is really good. So um, you see there, I needed 11.6, I got 12.1, which is really cool. I'll obviously take these little rewards here. Um, I wanted to probably come into the tavern and um, upgrade Taurus a little bit more. Um, Obviously, his other skills are fully booked now, so I can kind of just chuck this one in here, and it's only gonna to go towards the buff chance, which is really great. So I probably will hold off. I'll probably put one more book into it when I get it. I won't use my legendary books. Don't ever do that. If you've got an epic champion, never use a legendary book on it. But um, I'll be probably using this one um, on this ability when I get, if I had two, I'd only still use one, just because I don't want Castigator, that, that kind of um, balance to run out. So. When I get more rare books, I'll probably, actually I'll chuck a book in there now. Goes to his A1 anyway, so that's fine. That's just his chance to provoke, which is really quite nice as well. Um, he's got, it works up to be a 40% uh, chance to provoke, and he takes less damage from enemies under provoke debuff. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, when I get more books, I'll book them out simultaneously, as opposed to kind of ruining the balance and the speed tune that I've got kind of going on there. Obviously it's not perfectly speed tuned, but it is kind of um, that way. So um, let me learn, let me know down below guys, if you've pulled any of these legendary um, shards or the sacred shards in the legendary event currently at the moment. Let me know if you've got anything good, if you guys are joining the free to play, um, if you've kind of got anything there. One other thing actually I wanted to show you guys as well, which is probably really important that I've actually didn't kind of pull into my clan boss team, which I actually should have just sent, is I actually ended up getting a Ronda soul from the soul merchant. Um, really stupid of me, I should have done that before because I would have got extra damage on the clan boss, but that's okay. Um, so she's now got um, an extra blessing there as well, which means that I can chuck in. Brimstone is a great um, thing for her. So I'm gonna be choosing Brimstone. It does a uh, percentage there of uh, the target's max HP, so um, equal to 5%. So it's an extra bit of damage on top of Giant Slayer, which is already dealing um, a lot of her, a lot of the damage there already. So um, my Ronda's coming along well, my Kale obviously already. I've still been trying to farm Spider. I've got no accessories there for Dark Elves. So I still haven't got a, 
um, an amulet or a banner there for him. I haven't got, I have got amulets and banners for um, banner lords and I'll probably still be trying to farm out some of these ones here so I can kind of get her accessories all sorted. You see my Khazad D part, I brought him up to level 50 as well. He's quite nice in terms of things like Doom Tower. I've been progressing a little bit further in that now. I actually reached um, level 20 there. I haven't been able to beat the Nether Spider just yet. I don't think my team is up to scratch just yet. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a wish, you know, wish-washy team um, that I've kind of got going on. But the, I think maybe even having Rhonda got that, those blessings and masteries now, that might actually make a bit of a difference there for um, kind of regressing a little bit further there now. So um, I'll kind of see how that goes. I'm really, really impressed that I actually managed to get that Rhonda um, Soulstone there as well. So kind of just keeping my eye out in the market. If I do see a Kale, I'm going to hold off because remember how before you had the opportunity to get um, El Hain's three star, you know, in the in, in the El Hain path there for the fourth anniversary Titan event. So I'll kind of just be waiting to see when Kale drops his path because I, I reckon that there'll be a path for Kale and I'll be offered a three star and um, I'll eventually work my way up to that. So um, I'm going to pull this this um, more soul stone for you guys here right now too. Um, but as I said, I'll be holding off from pulling any Kales or anything like that. Really, Cretenda's actually quite nice as well because she comes with some good heals. Um, if I get a Void Shard and, and I pull her, I'll be actually probably looking to use her in my um, team there too. So, um, yeah, that's that's really about it, guys. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, there's a lot of, being, a lot of work that's been put in behind the scenes for this one, a lot of grinding. I know that it doesn't seem like I've done too much. This, um, this other Lunar Deck of Fate as well has been really handy. I'm getting... You know, extra multi battles and silver and gems and an ancient shard here that I pulled before and extra yeah extra gems as I talked about and um, even like a um, you know like a what are they called a haste glyph there too so just extra things you know that you you're already you're already farming up food in campaign so why not get some extra rewards while doing it um, so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you in the next one thank you peace.